So good evening. We'll get started with our um, current attendees and hopefully what we'll have is some uh, new attendees join us as the evening progresses. Uh, my name's Christopher Hewitt. I am one of the senior school leaders and I'll be introducing you to uh, what is the Year 12 VCAL Information Night. So welcome. I'm just going to bring up my PowerPoint to share with you guys so you can see as I talk and then hand over to the other members of staff that will be joining us this evening. So before we begin, um, what's going on here? Sorry, everybody. It's not, it's, just give me one second while I refer to my colleague, Steph. Hopefully that will work. All right, fantastic. Thank you for your help. <laughs> and we go to slides. And... All right, so um, we're here to talk about the 2022 Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning at Gisborne Secondary College. Uh, as you can see, the evening schedule is as such. So we're obviously going to complete the welcome and introduction. We'll then look at sort of the engagement process and uh, expectations and requirements of the VCAL program at GSC. We're then going to hear um, about the VCAL program and the requirements for that certificate. You're going to get a coordinator's brief, and then we're going to talk a little bit about balancing school, VET, and obviously uh, the work components. And then the evening will conclude with um, hearing from uh, or about careers. First of all, I'd just like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri people as the traditional owners on the country upon which we learn and work. We recognise their continuing connection to land, water and community and pay respects to elders past, present and emerging. So welcome. So the purpose of tonight's event is to welcome staff, students and parents to the year. We recognise that this is a significant and exciting year for all president present and we also wish to introduce key staff. So um, we have our assistant principal in senior school, Richard Palmer, who will not be here this evening, um, but is on site every day to answer some of those questions that you may have. There is myself, the senior school student engagement and wellbeing leader. We also have in senior school, the um, senior school programs leader, David Butler, and then we, in wellbeing, Belinda O'Meara, careers, John Tickelin, structured workplace learning and VET coordinator, Kathy Gossip, and then also Kelly Hewton as part of Head Start. So I guess the first part is sort of navigating year 12 in a VCAL setting. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this before handing over to Steph. So look, I guess essentially one of our key messages in year 12 is about balance. So, you know, identifying what needs you have in terms of your school life and the expectations of being at school, being present every day, making sure you're keeping up with your attendance requirements and also your engagement within school. But obviously we wanna really encourage students and the families and guardians to really look at as well as that home life and what that looks like in terms of what your students need when they exit school every day, what their weekends look like, to ensure that they have that really nice balance of discipline and effective work at school, but then also the time that they need to rest and recuperate at, at home, as well as if need be some study or homework. We understand that at year 12, work is important. You guys, in year 12, the students are starting to save and prepare for what's to come in their future. So work becomes really important to you. But I guess what we're asking is acknowledging that this is your final year at school. Try, if you can, to limit the amount of hours you take on at work 
um, just because late shifts might mean that you're exhausted for the next day, or if you're working up to four nights a week after school, where are you able to get that time to either have the rest and recuperation or time to find full work um, and study? Obviously, your teenagers or your parents and guardians of teenagers, and so we know that that's, that social life is really important for young people. And, you know, over the last two years, we've learned more than ever the importance of socialising, um, not having it. So obviously we acknowledge that as well and we encourage you to find time on weekends to meet with friends and meet with family and sort of, you know, do the things that are required in terms of having a break from the work or the school stuff. So really trying to encourage those weekend times to be part of that, you know, social element as well. We want to start you to visualize a future life for yourself, start thinking and planning what that means post school, and also starting to really take ownership of your personal life as well. You being in year 12 um, or parents of year 12s need to allow these young people to start to develop who they are as individuals and what looks like for them coming to future times ahead. I guess as a, as a student, you know, we need to really identify who our team is in this final year of year 12. Obviously, you are mainly responsible for your actions and behaviours, both at school and at work. So understanding that first and foremost at core, it is you that is responsible for your team. Obviously, teachers at the college provide an integral part of your learning and your experience, but also as guides um, to help you if you have questions along the way. Your family members also play a pivotal role in terms of providing that stability, that core base for you to return home to and to answer any questions you might have or act as a liaison for you in times of need. Friends, as I mentioned in social times, really important to have even just to uh, debrief on your day or to have those breakaway moments where you don't think about school or work and just do the things that are part of being a teenager. But then also there are the other key support elements at the college. So we have your year level managers or leaders here for you to come and seek advice from. Um, we, have, we have a connect program that has replaced what was mentor and that is there to also provide pastoral care, as well as we have our careers team and our wellbeing team and senior school leaders like myself. Uh, if you need additional support, please don't hesitate to come to senior school and we can put you in touch with outside agencies also if you have particular requirements or needs or questions too. So I guess the other part of this, um, and this is obviously acknowledging that parents are in the space and here tuning into this evening's presentation, is sort of your role in terms of your year 12 student. So we believe in these really core um, ideas of what parents should be doing for their child in this really pivotal, uh, important time in their educational journey. So being part of that balancing act between school, work and home is really important. So we really want to um, in, enforce that idea that you guys are, as parents or guardians, the people that provide the rock in which these students land when they come home from school. That you can provide for them a quiet and secure place to study when at home. So being aware that as a, a parent or guardian of a student doing year 12, this is a really major period of time for them. They will have a lot of additional pressures on and having a quiet space is really pivotal. Obviously, the next one is pretty self-explanatory. We obviously expect um, that you feed, clothe and shelter your child uh, and make sure they stay healthy and um, safe from harm. Something also that is a bit of a challenge at times um, can be balancing that thing of being a parent and being firm and having boundaries and also maintaining a close relationship but not becoming a friend. We are asking for you to really take that role of parent on in this final year. And sometimes you need to have some difficult conversations with your children or the people you care for and say, no, this boundary should not be crossed. We need to consider what is best for you at this time as your parent or guardian. The other thing, obviously, is we do look at you as being a liaison between the year 12 um, 
and us. So knowing your what your child is going through um, at that time and letting us know if you guys have any concerns about well-being issues, um, stress levels, anxiety, uh, overwork, whatever it might be, we really are open to you guys having a, and maintaining a fluid um, communication with us so that we can keep the best program going for your child. And lastly, I think attendance is really important at Gisborne Secondary College. So making sure that you're keeping us informed if your child is not going to be presenting to school on any day for whatever reason, if they are unwell, getting them to somewhere that where they can get a medical certificate um, is really important as well. But just keeping us in the loop in terms of the whereabouts of your child from day to day. As I mentioned, we have plenty of resources here at the college, but I guess essentially the other parts of resources for you as a year 12 navigating VCAL is each other. Really, really look at each other as peer support here. We discussed the, the benefits of parents, but also the broader family. You might have cousins, um, siblings that have gone through a VCAL or year 12 program who can give you advice um, along the way. And there are also plenty of useful websites out there that we can give or suggest for you in time to come that will, might provide some really great resources for you moving forward. The other thing I would say is keep your eyes open for any of the tertiary open days for TAFE and other private institutions. If you hear of something, if you find out about a particular course, please don't hesitate to come and speak to the careers team or senior school. And uh, we will find as much as we can for you in relation to those open days or potential tours as well. All right, I'm now going to hand over to Steph, who's going to talk through the Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning and the coursework requirements. Thank you, Steph. Thanks, Chris. It's great to see so many uh, parents and our students have logged in this, uh, this evening. Um, we uh, this year are implementing a new process for uh, coursework, particularly aimed at our VCAL program. We, uh, you would have noticed um, based on the first outcome for literacy uh, that there was some emails and communication home. Uh, this is part of that process. What we're wanting to do is make it that it's a bit more transparent between what we're doing here at the school and communicating that home with our parents and our um, support networks at home uh, so that the students have a, a track across the whole year of what is going on and so that it's more of a collaborative effort. Um, and we thought that this would be um, a good process and um, help with the gaps between our uh, traditional reporting cycles. So um, you will notice that there'll be an increase in the, the communication from the school um, in terms of learning outcomes and coursework that's been completed. Part of this was uh, this year we have implemented a senior school handbook. This has been given to all of our uh, students and it was also uh, sent home. So you should have a copy of this. Um, in here we have the expectations for all members of our senior school. So this uh, covers things like plagiarism and expectations, as well as um, what each student is required to do and the VCAR, so our governing body, in terms of curriculum, what their rules and regulations are. So it's a document that we are going to refer to with students across the uh, year. So um, it's important that um, you save the copy that's been sent. Um, and if at any time you need an additional copy, we are happy to provide it here in the senior school. There's also an agreement form um, which will be given out to those in year 12 during Connect uh, next week, which will um, signify that they've read the, uh, uh, the handbook and that they agree to essentially the terms and conditions. Um, there's nothing in there that isn't explicit in terms of what VCAR regulate uh, in terms of their certificate requirements. It's just formalising the process. So, an overview of VCAL. A number of our students uh, joined us from VCE this year, which was exciting. Um, VCAL is a program that's specific pathway related. Uh, it's designed to prepare students for the transition with further education or training and employment. And it's that link between being here at school, but also starting to build connections within the 
employment and workforce, but also those personal development skills. So within our VCAL program, we have three levels of award. So we have foundation, intermediate and senior. Senior is uh, mostly our year 12 cohort, um, but VCAL is competency based. So a year level doesn't necessarily connect with the certificate. Uh, for the purposes of um, making it simple for everyone, year 12 and senior is what the majority of students do, but it's not necessarily what all students do. As I said, it's competency based and it's based on skills and abilities rather than a mandate of a year level with set standards. So essentially, what is VCAL? VCAL is, the, as I said, the link between school and the next stage of a learning journey for a student and whether that learning journey be part of the work-based, um, preparing for the workforce, preparing for further study, working within the community, it's project-based learning and it revolves around real issues within the world. So it's a bit more hands-on and um, more specific than our uh, VCE counterparts, but it's essentially a chance for our students to use their today to build the tomorrow that they want. So it's pathways based. To be awarded a VCAL qualification, students need to meet a minimum of 10 units. So a unit being a semester's worth of study. A VCAL program has some rules associated with it, which means that students need to complete elements from the literacy stand, from the numeracy stand, from the industry specific skills strand, which is where our VET and apprenticeships and Head Start programs come in. They also need to complete a unit from the work related skills, PD, and also the 10 units can be made of general credit. So for students who completed portfolio in year 11, some of them uh, were able to achieve a senior unit, which will go towards their VCAL this year. In terms of what literacy and numeracy compile of, we have two units for both of those. We cover in literacy, reading, writing, and oracy, and in numeracy, we cover developing numerical skills and investigating industry numeracy. In PD, we look at uh, the student self-development and community enga engagement. Uh, our students in year 12 are completing uh, the peer support program with our year seven cohort as part of their PDS units. So it's a really exciting way for our students to foster relationships within the school, but also learn some real world skills in terms of working with others and uh, mentoring their peers. We also have the work related skills, which is all about improving employability and working in work environments and looking at ways in which students can develop their um, knowledge within a workforce. So looking at things like um, OH&S and preparing them for what will come in the next phase of their journey. So essentially in order to gain a VCAL certificate, students need to complete a specific number of units and they fall under different categories. Here at Gisborne, we have uh, units and the ability for all students to pass their certificate. We offer both on-site VET and external VET. And we have this year for the first time um, combined our classes for VET business on a Wednesday so that students who are uh, out on a uh, vet that is on a day other than Wednesday are here at school able to what we call double vet but students that are doing an external vet on a Wednesday um, are not missing out on additional classes. So we tried to streamline the process so that our, our students are in the class um, and are able to uh, not have to catch up as much. There's also some flexible time in which students can uh, catch up on anything if their vet does not fall on a Wednesday. So with that, I'm going to hand over to, uh, I believe, our coordinator or our captains. So just one second. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you for coming tonight. Um, my name is Greg Savinos. I'm the Year 12 Coordinator, and I'll be working with your young people in the course of this year. Now, we have 
Year 12, as we emphasize to our students and as you're all well aware, is a very important year for all of our students, um, but and most definitely for our VCAL students. It's an opportunity to move into the world post school. It's an opportunity to build up skills. And as such, it's very important that students make the best use of their time, make the most of the time they have at school, and if you know, as much as possible, do the best they can, because all of that will contribute to them finding the right pathway for themselves. It's an interesting year in many ways. For many of our students, it's the beginning, it's the beginning, of, well, it's the end of their formal schooling, but it's also a very important stepping stone in life. It's, it marks a particular end of a journey. And for our VCAL students, it's often, you know, the prelude to a wonderful career. We will work with them to ensure that they get all the opportunities. Now, obviously, you know, as year 12s, they're expected to be responsible members of the school community because they are looked up to. They are role models. They are people that everyone looks up to. Uh, everyone else in the school community looks up to. And by and large, all of our students do that and perform that role as role models to an excellent level. Uh, they are fine young people and we are very proud of working with them. Now, in the course of the year, there will be problems with sometimes issues that come up that prevent a student attending. What we need from parents, as much as anything, is the ability to actually, uh, if, you, if you could let us know whenever anything happens, uh, just keep us informed. But basically, let us know. We will work with you. We want to work with your uh, children. We want to work with the families. We want this to be a joint effort. And hopefully, we will have a great year with great outcomes for everybody. Now, I'd like to introduce uh, one of our college captains, Oscar James, who has a few words to say to everyone here. Thank you. Hello everyone. In case you didn't know, Bridget Holmes and I are your school captains together with the bias captains, Thomas Hoffer and Sienna Andrews. I'm really grateful for this opportunity and incredibly excited to have the privilege of being a school captain this year. I really hope I can leave an impact on this year level and the school as a whole by the end of 2022. As you can tell, we finally made it to year 12. All of us would have heard teachers, older students and parents emphasize the importance of this final year since our primary school days. This year will definitely be rewarding and something that we'll look back on in 20 years with nostalgia. However, 2022 will also be definitely one of our toughest years in our 13 year education so far. This year, we have to face all of our tests, outcomes, exams, and the reality that we're now adults and have to move out of our parents' house. But in my eyes, this isn't an excuse to give up and waste the next 10 months of our lives watching Netflix. This is all the more reason to be excited and ready to tackle the work we've cut out for ourselves head on. We have been incredibly lucky not to be in the class of 2020 or 2021 with the constant lockdowns and all the other turmoil of the past two years. This is an opportunity that none of us should squander. I was looking for some words of wisdom that weren't said by Albert Einstein or any of the other usual suspects. Uh, Cameron Tamaz, Ben known as Wiz Khalifa, didn't just write SIG and he also once said, I've done a lot of work to get where I'm at, but I have to keep on working. And this is how I'm going to view this year. We've been laboring away for years, and now we're at the cusp of attaining the goal we've sought after since prep. It feels so close, but still so far away. It's easy to think that it will be impossible to compete with other students from other schools. But none of us are going to achieve our goals with that mindset. In reality, we're no different to them. Everywhere you go, there's going to be someone better than you. You can't let that stop you from trying your hardest. You reap what you sow. Therefore, you are the only ones in way of attaining your goals this year. If you want to work, uh, walk out of here with a certificate, go ahead, but you're not going to do that um, without putting work in this year. Same, go, same goes for that apprenticeship, job opportunity, or anything you aim for in the future. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to pass the floor over to Sienna right now. Hi, everyone. My name is Sienna, and if you haven't already picked up yet, I'm Gibson Secondary College's proud female vice captain for 2022. Now, since the beginning of my year 12 journey, well, for the past two and a half weeks, I've had the opportunity of speaking with many of my year 12 peers and I've gotten their input on the year so far. From what I've gathered, I can definitely confirm from the amount of homework piling up on people's desks and hours spent working in the study centre trying to keep up with the workload that this year is cracking out to be one of our toughest years yet. So far, this, this year sounds like a fun time to me. <laughs> Although plenty of our teachers have warned us 
and warned us each year, just wait till your year 12. I've always brushed it off, never knowing exactly what they meant. But finally, I understand why this year isn't gonna be all sunshine and rainbows. For most of us, it's gonna be one of the toughest years yet, full of long hours studying and stress levels through the roof. However, I still can't believe that we've actually made it this far. As I've already emphasized, year 12 is gonna be a challenge, but, but I assure you it's gonna be one of the most rewarding years yet. And we have so much to look forward to. For many of us, we have few, huge milestones ahead, such as turning 18 and becoming legal adults, um, getting our driver's license and buying our first car, getting, being accepted into our dream uni apprenticeship or course, and of course, going down to the telly and ordering our first legal drink. These are just a few of the, a few of the amazing encounters we'll get the opportunity of experiencing outside of our school lives, but we cannot forget the amount of memories to be made inside the Gisborne Secondary School grounds. Gizzy Sec has been our home for the past five years, and I could not think of a better, better place to find my spend, to spend my final schooling year, surrounded by the people I sat in B Block with on the very first day, anxiously, anxiously awaiting for our classes to be read out. We've seen each other grow up, and I couldn't ask for a better bunch of people to spend my year 12 with. I can only hope that my peers feel the same way, and I say, Say this is going to be a full, when I say this is going to be a year full of moments we'll never forget and I'll look back and smile about in the years to come. So please, I hope that everyone can take this year in their stride with a positive mindset, live in the moment and make long lasting memories that they'll cherish forever. And of course, do their homework. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Belinda O'Mara and I am the Student Wellbeing Coordinator. Um, this can be a really challenging, but also very rewarding uh, year for your child, or uh, it can also be a really challenging and rewarding time for families. The wellbeing team are here to support you through that process. Uh, our team consists of myself, Greg Neal, um, who's a counsellor, Bridget Downey, who's also a counsellor, and Alison Hicks, who is our mental health practitioner. Please, if you have any concerns throughout the year, please come and see us early before things become um, too big so that we can address them and help meet your needs. Um, I think uh, the other thing we're introducing this year is a program called Peer Support. Uh, some of your children may have participated in the program last year, but we think this is a really valuable opportunity for the Year 12s to be working with uh, the Year 7s. We've selected the Year 12 VCAL students because we think they are a really responsible and really uh, great group to be demonstrating those leadership skills that they develop during their VCAL program. We are here to support you throughout the year, so please don't hesitate uh, to contact us if you need us. I'm going to hand back to Ms. Cust. Um, thank you very much. Thanks, Belinda. So we are just going to go through a couple of slides that we have sort of touched upon. So essentially, we've been talking about the balance for our students and looking at the different aspects of their day to day life and day to day uh, life here at school, but also at home. So um, we've, we've sort of spoken about this a little bit, but it's really important that year 12 is seen as a significant year um, for our students and to make sure that they are getting that balance between work, school, vet, and a social life. Um, as uh, Mr. Savinos uh, constantly says, the theme of the year and for life should be be the best, be the bravest. So we're asking our students to be the best version of themselves, but also to be the bravest version of themselves. Year 12 is a year where there's lots of opportunities and uh, our students are able to get lots of uh, experiences in, in terms of being in VCAL, that means lots of short courses, lots of um, activities, and we really hope that our students take on those opportunities and really make the most of them. Um, we've spoken from our captains. 
So essentially what we're saying is year 12 is the vocational version of uh, VCAL being the vocational version. Um, this does not mean that our students are not able to go on to university. It does not mean that our students are locked into an apprenticeship or into employment. It means that they have chosen a different pathway, but it by no means means that they are any different from any other year 12 uh, student or year 12 um, within the cohort. So um, we've got a little bit of information about careers here. So throughout the year um, within the year 12 team, um, John Tacoolin, who is our careers uh, person and other members of the careers team, so Kathy Gossip and Kelly Hutton, will uh, post information about apprenticeships, about uh, traineeships, they'll have careers expo, There'll be uh, lots of practice job interviews and open days, and we really encourage all of our year 12 students to take these opportunities on. Um, if you have any specific questions about careers, I would suggest that you get in contact with um, John, but I'm also happy to field um, questions and pass them on to the relevant people if you're not sure who to speak to. The one big difference between VCAL and VCE is that we have structured workplace learning, which means that we have a day within our timetable where there are no classes. Here at Gisborne, we call uh, structured workplace learning a mandatory component of our VCAL program. And we ask that students uh, work or find a work placement on a Friday in year 12. We are pretty keen on this because um, it's enabling our students to start the next chapter of their life. Um, we have these days with no timetable classes so that students are not uh, having to catch up on work that they may have missed or uh, add extra pressure or strain onto them. So we really hope that our students are actively seeking employment. There are some rules and regulations. For example, you need to have all of your paperwork filled in before you can go out to the job site. So if you have any questions, uh, our VET coordinator is also our Structured Workplace Learning Coordinator, and that is um, Kathy Gossip. We also have our Head Start contact person, which is Kelly Hutton, who is here at the college three days a week. Um, and she is happy to answer any questions um, in regards to Head Start, which is our school-based apprenticeships and traineeships. Um, we also have uh, the short courses and student choice and student connections to outcomes. Um, David Butler unfortunately couldn't be here tonight, but he has um, asked me to pass on that on the 7th of March, the year 12s will be completing a, an excursion or will be undertaking an excursion, I should say not completing, um, in which they will be going into the city to do some homeless awareness um, with the Salvation Army and the big issue. And it's a really um, worthwhile experience for our students. Um, and he will be working on um, both uh, David and Nathan Mills, who is the other PD teacher, will be working on that with the students in the coming weeks to prepare for that excursion. Uh, so we have in the year ahead, we have uh, term one. So our students have begun their course, uh, their VET courses. We've commenced our coursework and hopefully our students have started to complete their structured workplace learning. We are in term two are looking at um, putting in the first aid and CPR refresher courses. Term three, which is when we will commence the second unit uh, for our different subjects. We also have for the first time, we have the VCAR um, have changed the rules in, around the GAT. So our senior VCAR students will be completing the GAT for the first time um, when the GAT changes form. This is part of the secondary certificate reforms. Um, we don't have a lot of questions, well, we don't have a lot of answers to some questions at the moment. And it's um, that is because VCAR are yet to release some of the information. Um, it was only announced last week that this was going to be happening. Um, they have said that there will be some further information coming across um, towards the end of this term. And as we find out this information, we will um, inform both the students and our um, parent community of this. Um, we will also hold some uh, preparation info sessions around the for our students and it will be a mandatory uh, component of their certificate. Um, as I said, we don't have a lot of information at the moment, but that is something that we uh, need our parents and our students to be aware of that it is happening and it's the first time that it's happening um, and to just be aware of that. 
In term four, we uh, essentially do not run a lot of classes. Classes will finish around October. All of our coursework will be due. And then in November, everything um, pending in terms of the COVID world in which we live in and touch wood, hopefully that is a, a chapter from the past, but hopefully in November, we will have our graduation dinner and it will be a wonderful event. So in terms of what the next term specifically looks like, we have a number of learning outcomes that will be administered to our uh, students. Um, as you can see there, there's a timeline. Um, this will be emailed out to parents um, in the in just shortly. Um, so if you cannot read it, don't feel like you have to um, try and read the small text there. I just wanted to bring it to our parents' attention and also to our students' attention, the pace at which we're working in senior VCAL. Um, and Year 12 VCAL. We really want our students to be aware that there are a lot of things going on. This is also in addition to any VET or TAFE requirements that students may have, um, but we feel it's important to understand that students need to be on top of their work right from the get-go. Um, there is not a lot of time to catch up later. Things need to be happening to a set timeline, and this is so that we can ensure that all our students have that positive outcome and are able to qualify for their certificate in terms of the VCAR dates and things like that. So as I said, this will be uh, emailed out to um, families um, shortly. Um, we will have one for term two and three and four as well. So it'll be a continuous update of what is going on in terms of coursework so that um, parents are aware of what should be done um, and, and when. Um, all right, so on a positive note, what we have decided to do this year is to introduce what we're calling recognition tickets. Um, this was something that we started to do uh, last year and um, really want to emphasize that and pick it up um, for 2022. So our students, they work incredibly hard. We know that we they're working here at school. They should get recognition for their efforts and the values that they demonstrate. So what we've decided to do is do a recognition ticket draw each month um, and also at the end of each term where a winner will receive prize and some sort of recognition. So what we're looking for are students who have 100% attendance at the end of a month. So this means students who are here at class when they should be. This also takes into account that there are some instances where students will be absent due to things like TAFE and VET and also isolating at home. We are talking about days when students should be here and the expectation is they, that they are here. Tickets will be awarded with teacher discretion, but largely consistent with our um, Gisborne Secondary College values, so respect, achievement, innovation and diversity, as well as the core principles of the VCAL program. So we're looking at uh, teamwork, community engagement, dedication and perseverance. So what we ask is that if a student is awarded a ticket uh, from their teacher, they take the ticket and they place it into the ballot box, which is located here in the senior school office, um, and then they go into the draw. So it's about um, in reinforcing those positive behaviours, but also positive recognition that our students have for their efforts. So that brings us to the end of our uh, info session. It's been great to have uh, so many of you log in tonight and join us. Um, we hope to have a really great year ahead um, with lots of experiences and perhaps um, some experiences that were not able to happen as part of the Year 11 VCAL program. Um, thank you and good night.